Mike, that was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a guy. Oh, my God. I can't fuck. I mean, Curtis, I you, if you don't stop, if you don't stop, I will. Curtis, if you don't stop, I will actually eat your saxophone. Uh, eh. Oh, that does work. Okay, cool. Anyways, um, so today we're going to be talking about. Um, little thing we're doing in comm class. Project, little project. subject. Yeah, Slave. we'll talk about that. I don't know how long we'll talk about it for, but then we can talk about that. And then Curry, oh, Curry, yeah. Curry, Curry can bring something in, then you guys can also bring other stuff in. So we got a little bit of a project <laughs> going on in our comm um, class. We got an assignment to where we have to research a city that was given to us. Yeah. Now, this is an interesting type of PowerPoint assignment. We can only have a maximum of three words on every slide and five slides of content. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad though, because a lot of it's pictures. Oh, I thought for a second when we were talking about the calm thing, I was like, we already talked about how we we already talked about that last episode. <laughs> no, we, no, we didn't. I'm not talking about the honor project. I am talking about a little of the other project we're doing, the class project, which is yeah. sorry, I, I missed the track. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> basically we have, we have research and I already just said that we can only have maximum three words on every slide and 15 words in total. That's five slides of content because, uh, our professor wants us to use words like verbal words more than paragraphs. He wants us to use pictures. And Curtis, did Nate just little, say, did Nate just say lore? What? No. Oh, and and our, our uh, professor promised us a little thing, which she has been trying to promise for the last one year, but no one's been successful. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Peeves. He has two pet peeves when it comes to presenting. <laughs> you cannot start with. So my project is about... For today, <laughs> we're going to be talking about... This ain't no fifth grade goofy all uh, presentation. <laughs> That's true. We gotta have a hook. I just got the worst. We fucking... gotta keep the audience interested. You also you Curtis, you're a type of fellow to be like. Um, today, guys, I'm talking about this for my presentation. <laughs> That's what you would do. Okay, buddy. Okay, it's buddy. probably true. <laughs> <laughs> the second pet peeve that he has is how you end the presentation. You cannot say, uh, yeah, that's my presentation, or something like, that's it, or bye. <laughs> Nate, why are you making it sound so funny? You're making it sound so funny. That's all, guys. That's a wrap. Um, that is a wrap, guys. Thank you for listening to my presentation about 9 11. Alcoholism? Huh? What, Nate? Like oh no. Feeling like Godzilla. Alright, well, that's the little project. Um, I'm going to uh, change it up a little bit today. I want to do a little bit of a trivia question. Either would you rather? Oh, that's interesting. Are you, are you wanting to do that too, Curtis? Would that sound fun? That sounds kind of cool. What is it? So would you rather, or like an either or, like what type, what, how do you say a certain words? We're in comm class, so we're in justification. I'm okay with that, so, sure. My first question for everybody is, here's the, here's the thing that starts the bass and drum course. Hmm. Is it pronounced syrup or syrup? That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you guys are... watching this, this as well, make sure you um, also give your input on this. Are you asking Curtis first, or are you asking me first, or? Both of you. Okay, Curtis, you can go first. Um, personally, I say syrup. Yeah, I say syrup as well. I also say syrup, but um, I want to see if there's an actual pronouncing. If you guys, if if any of you in the audience, do you guys want? Do you guys say syrup or syrup? I mean, us oh, three, we say syrup. It could be a mis midwestern thing too. Who knows? Yeah. That also gives me an, a a great one. Um, this could be a Midwestern thing too. Do you guys, do you guys say, do you guys say pecan or pecan? I just searched it up, Ian. The actual pronunciation is syrup, but nah, that's cringe. 
It's more like a Midwestern type of, like, yeah. Northern type of accent. Yeah. So Curtis says P uh, pecan. That's what I say as well. Nate, do you say pecan or pecan? There's also route versus root. Nate, answer my question. There's also route. crayon versus cron. Crayon. Crayon. Crown. No, Nate, you're cringe. <laughs> you didn't answer mine, Nate. Do you say pecan or pecan? <laughs> Pecan. Be roots. Yeah, okay. At least you're not cringing that way. You you are kind of cringe though because you say crown. That's what I said back in like yeah. elementary school. All right, and here's another one. Um, uh, Chihuahua, a Chihuahua. <laughs> what? Chihuahua? What? <laughs> okay, what? so Curtis doesn't get doesn't know the joke, and I, I you guys also don't know it. Nate, you can explain it if you want to. <laughs> So uh, basically, um, our linguist, our uh, communication slash linguistic teacher, was basically saying how some words in the English language do not s sound the way they are spelled. For instance, mm -hmm. Chihuahua it spells like Chihuahua. It's pronounced <laughs> Chihuahua. Exactly. Uh, Worcester, Missouri, is looks like Worcester. <laughs> But it's pronounced Worcester. And that's the funny thing about English, especially French. Is it's even worse than French. But um, that's true. Yeah, you would have so many different letters, letters in a sentence, or I know in a word, and it, it sounds completely different. Like you can, there's, I don't know, a word like drought, or um, I don't know, what's a word? What's a good word? Rough. Sounds like R U F F, right? But it's spelled R O U G A. So it'd be like Rao or like Ralph. Almost. Rao. And also like um. Or, also or pool. Or I thought of one pool, or. like P O O L. It, the O's would be like a O sound, but if you just have like if you pronounce it, it could be like Poo L. <laughs> Hold on. Pool, blood, and floor all have the O's that are pronounced in three different ways. Yeah, pretty much. Also, there is the, a, a, a grammatical sentence in um, in English, modern English. Police, police, police is an oh, actual yeah. grammatically correct sentence you can say. Because police can be a noun in the verb. Same thing with buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> The you also know that I believe there are only two words that have MP in the end. That's dreamt and exempt. Hmm. Curtis, um, is Nate going insane right now? Is is this is, is this is like villain arc right now? Villain arc. <laughs> Nate's Nate's going and turning into a villain slowly. <laughs> so. That was an interesting concept you brought up earlier, Nate, with the would you rather. We could we could always do that during the podcast. I didn't even think about it. We could do like games, like we could do like would you rather and engage with the audience and stuff. That's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Hey, hey Ian. Uh, Curtis, What's what up? do you call it? Soda or pop or soda pop? Soda. Just soda. Nothing else. Just soda. Please. Oh my god, thank you. Anyone anyone who says pop you make me cry, bite me in the comment section. Um, yeah, the only pop I would say is, like, if, no, if you say it's soda like, pop. If you say yeah. soda pop, I despise you. You say it like yeah. my username, soda pop, or my past username, soda pop Curtis, I don't care. Okay, That's now, not you, you know, anymore, places, though. Some places in America say yeah, bubbler instead of water fountain. That's so weird. Yeah, what? some places say bubbler. It's mostly in New England. That's so weird. Bro, oh, English yeah, people are crazy. They're over here oh, like, yes, I like well, at well, Also, here's a funny thing about uh, when, Br when British people name uh, their snacks. Like in America, it could be like Doritos or Kit Kat or Snickers. And in the UK, it'd be like Brunchy Munchy Wunchy Delights. <laughs> Curtis, you're a snicker. That's a little rude. No. <laughs> yeah. The, no, what are you doing? British. Really What'd you say? 
Ian, I know what you were doing there, and that's cutting it really close to demonetization. <laughs> no, he's not. Nate wanted to call it out like that. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> They are evil. Now, now they know. You, you, can't, you can't call me out because now YouTube knows. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of which. I told, I told, me. um. It wasn't me. I told Curtis this, by the way. Um, I didn't tell you yet, Nate. So before this podcast episode, um, I'm just talking to Curtis. And I have, like, three channels. I have two, one for my trombone, that's the short, my short channel, and one that has, like, my full-length videos. I also have one that's a gaming channel. It's called Robot Man. It's, like, something I made when I was a lot younger. Um, but it's kind of, like, a dead or Like, it's, does, it's not very active, but it gained a lot of subscribers. So, there was a video I had made. It was a meme that I had posted. And it was, it, you guys all know regular show. I know both Curtis and Nate do. Hopefully, um, you, you guys yeah, are in the audience now. Um, I, sh- I love that show. It's so awesome. It's like probably my favorite show to this day. Um, I had made a meme. Like I had not made a meme, but I posted a meme um, that I found on the internet where it was um, Rigby was telling Mordecai. He was like, let's set up the chairs, dude. And then like when he set up the chairs, when he like threw the chair um, off camera, it had like it was like it switched to a low res like 144p video where like some dude got a chair thrown at him. And it was kind of funny. But just um today or like yesterday or something i sent i got an email checked it it was from youtube i was like okay what does youtube want is this something good something bad and it said um yes you get a violent you get a a copy like a a community guideline for violence a, a warning and i was like what and it like had sent me the link to that video and i was like dude this is so dumb so i might make a video on that channel about it but i want to talk about it on the podcast because I, I mean, I could go into the whole topic about censorship and stuff like that, but I, I don't know if you, I don't know if like you guys like Nate and Curtis want to go on about that, but like I feel like that's kind of stupid. Um, when it's literally a low res video, and it was it was supposed to be it was just a dumb video, like, and it was something I posted like two years ago before they even had shorts, and it was just a short, and I was like, dang, this is awesome. So yeah, that's kind of my little tangent. That's that's the start of my villain arc against YouTube. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what do you what do you guys want to talk about? Or what do you guys think? I guess we can go into it for a little bit. I mean, if we if we want to talk about something, I guess we can go into that. I don't know what we talk. I mean, about if that. you guys want to talk about censorship, I don't care. I mean, that's that's a good thing with comms class. I think we're going to talk about that at some point, aren't we, Nate? Ian, yeah. What's we should up? play all five NFL teams on the trombone and rate them. That's actually a good idea. I might I might do that at some point. I've already played some of them before, like in the years prior. I could probably remember them from when I played them. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, another another funny thing I just realized. I thought about when when Nate did that and I did my low note. Apparently, I think Curtis has also pointed out before. Sometimes when I do when I say certain words and I elongate them, I almost go into like I don't know how to do subharmonics. I wish I did because I'm like a bass singer. If I could get that down, I'd be insanely like talented in my low range. But sometimes I say words like uh or nice, and Nate's like. Nate points it out because he has perfect pitch, and so does Curtis. And sometimes I'm like singing. I like have it. In, I say like the note, like a word in like an A one. If you guys know an A one, there's octaves. Um, A one oh, is guys, guys, um, guys, sixty, news, I think. What's news. up? Breaking news: ISU beat Valparaiso. Yeah. So A four forty is A four A two twenty A two. Um, A one is A equals sixty, right? Or is A equals thirty for the frequency? Because A equals A4, A4 is A equals 440. So it would be 60. Um, so if you guys know your frequencies or you know pitches, it's, it's a low note that I sometimes do, which is really funny because Nate brought that, Nate, Nate made a joke. Like Nate talked about the NFL thing and I did a low note and I kind of went on a, um, on a, um, a neurodivergent rant. You're a neurodivergent, Ian. I am, and so are you too. You guys want to talk about anything like, um, let's see, current events wise? Let's talk about the ISU basketball team. Oh, that's gonna be an interesting I've one. I've heard they are doing very, very good. Uh, yeah, if you want to say that, it depends on the context. It depends on if you're talking about a few weeks ago, if you're talking about recently, <laughs> because that's a different story. Not recently. Exactly. Not recently. <laughs> 
So, do you want to start that, Nate? Talk about like how we became ranked for a bit, because you brought yeah, it up. Yeah, I was with you. It was doing so good. This is the first time in fifty years, I think, that IUC was ranked on the AP <laughs> ranking. But then we lost to a losing record team. Then we lost again to University of Southern Indiana, and then we lost all of that. I think it's just because we probably got a little cocky or excited that we were. We did. Ranked. We were only shooting threes, which is really dumb. Uh, I think that we just won by almost twenty points. I think they got it back together. We still have the division lead. Look, this is a once in a this for the first time in fifty years. This is a really, really good team, and I think we can go far. The only thing that can stop this team is themselves. That's very true. 22 and 5. One of the first, we were one of five universities at a point to reach 20 wins in the nation. Well, isn't that, um, isn't Drake and, isn't Drake one of them too? Drake, Drake's really good this year. Like, I mean, Valley, we beat them Missouri though. Valley, which is our, our division is called Missouri Valley. That's our conference. It's really underrated, especially since uh, some of the good, the other good uh, universities about that conference. It is underrated. It is a really stacked conference, especially with Drake. Mm hmm. And if you guys know, um, in the audience, um, there's divisions like D three, D two, and D one. Our school is a D one school. And uh, do you want to explain D one, D two, D three stuff like that, Nate? Because you probably explain better than me. Oh my God! Is that where Drake's from? What's up? Oh my god, Drake is from Drake University. Oh my god, really? What? Oh. So, there are divisions in the NCAA um, Sports Association, depending on school size. Yes. Kind of like, kinda like band almost, you know? Yeah. D3 is like the small schools, private schools. D2 is like the middle-sized schools. And D1 is due to the big schools who have NIL deals or national or usually state schools. Now, ISU is Division 1, but we are Division 1A, which is like the division... It's like the lower half of mm -hmm. Division 1 schools. Well, with attendance, but, uh, like, the higher, the higher I, at this like point... Oh, what were you saying? The higher you go division-wise... The more like the usually the richer the school is, the better the school football team or basketball team is. Mm -hmm. Um, the bigger the school is, the more funding you get for your D one school. For sure. <laughs> with with like student wise, um, I think we talked about this last episode. Um, but with how like our our student like population, like the numbers we had have decreased so much. I'm I'm curious if in the next few years, I mean. The classes are going to be coming in, and so we should be getting, like, more students and stuff. But, like, if we ever went class. down, like, even more, I wonder if we'd ever drop divisions if we weren't. Dude, Dude, if we were freshman, freshman class, Ian, is massive. Yeah, it's, like, a few thousand, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a really big freshman class. ISU peaked at 17,000 people in 2017. Was that back? That was, like, back in 2012 or something, wasn't it? Uh, just in 2017. Oh, 2017. 17,800 people. Now we're down to 8,300 with only 5,500 living on campus. That's 100 yeah, that's... more people than normal high school. That's so rough. But don't worry, it's really get bigger. Mm -hmm. It's every year since 2021, the freshman classes have been getting bigger. The issue is the amount of upperclassmen that are left. Some of them quit because of COVID, and some of them are just kind of, well, sorry, college is not more than them. Yeah. Hi, Curtis. Hi, Curtis. <laughs> the 100 and 200 level classes are pretty big, but the 3 and 400 level classes, the junior senior level classes, are almost absent. Yeah. Nate, Nate was um, really, Nate was, Nate was really like, yeah, there were some people that said college weren't, aren't for them. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. That's <laughs> good. Um, anyways, um, here's also a good statistic. Since 2016, the amount of transfers into spring semester had decreased until this year, until 2024. The first nice. time since 2016, 
We have had more transfers than last year. Dang, how'd you, how'd you, where'd you find that statistic about? On the website. Nice. Uh, in 2023, there were 839 <laughs> transfers. Oh. This year, there's 879. Jeez, so I okay. Hmm. I assume, honestly, I assume it's more of like a restructure. We focus, we're getting a new, uh, the music school, the school music is getting a new director, we're getting a new mm. president. I assume needs to, we just need like a re a redo for some things. Mm. Well, that that We're thing you said for twenty twenty three, that's like a five percent increase. That's a pretty big increase. Yeah. So honestly, I think ISU really just needs to we need to have like a factory reset. ISU is not in really <laughs> yes. the best place right now. We really have halls with rad stations. That's true. That that closed down. Heinz and Jones. Oh yeah, Hall. yeah. Nate and I were talking about this this morning. Uh, you want to go into that? <laughs> that, that was funny. That. Yeah, this is a recent thing. I think it was within this week, wasn't it? I mean, talked about it, that. But I, I, mm. just, I think uh, ISU just needs, first of all, people need to pay their fees. Second of all, ISU just needs to let the freshman roll tide come in. Yeah. And it's not especially with the prices and with the lack of people wanting to go to university. It is hard. Mm. But I just need to grab onto what they're getting right now, which is a big freshman class. Yeah. Especially in the school music. The choir not be, might not be doing so well next year, but the woodwind section is going to be big next year. It's going to be crazy. We might. This year, we got 105. In the beginning of the 2023, 2024 school year, there are 105 music majors. We're down to like 80 something right now. Ooh, that's next rough. Year, next year, there should be like around 130. So, well, that's a thinking? that's like a twenty percent drop. That's pretty rough. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad. Here's the problem. I shoot, honestly, not that hard to graduate from. It is, it is a decently hard school, but it's not like the end of the world, like I know IU. Yeah. And I'm not naming anybody. No one do I know anybody does this, but I've heard stories. The main reason people don't go to class is, quote unquote, I don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Wait, W reason. Wait, W reason. W reason. <laughs> that is kind of a W reason. <laughs> you shouldn't be going, okay. First of all, the real world does not oh, care on. about mental breakdowns or you not feeling like it. So literally, mm -hmm. go to class. Your attendance grade matters. Please stop <laughs> just sitting in your dorm and sulking about it. That's not going to help. You're in college, you're an adult, now get your yeah, shit people, together. Yeah, I think that's a good take. Um, like, people, if if you don't have, like, a mental issue, like, if you don't have depression or you don't have, like, any conditions that set you back, and you just complain about things and you're just, like, sulking for no reason, what's your, like, what's what's the point in that? Like, I can confidently say I do have mental health issues. Um, so it does cause classes to be difficult, but, I mean, I'm not, like, just sulking about everything. You know, there's a certain person I know with, with black hair that's kind of taller that's a, that works at Starbucks that is that way. And I think you both knew, know who we're hey, talking hey, about. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, calling yeah. people out right now. We're not calling people out. I'm not. That's why I didn't go any further. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Though. If he watches it, he's going to know. No. <laughs> who said it's a he? <laughs> <laughs> um. um, actually... No, but with with your like with your thing, like I also agree because like the acceptance rate of ISU is like really high. Like they accept a, like pretty much anyone. Okay. So like the numbers like being this low is kind of disheartening with such a high acceptance rate. The university you need to stop accepting people just to accept them. We need to have like credibility back. Yeah, people that'll actually pay for their stuff and stay and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, okay. I choose not the harder guy to be from. If I'm going to be honest, I've been here for a semester and a half, or for now a semester and a half. I choose not the harder guy to graduate from. If yeah, exactly. Problem, if you're having problems here, then well, good luck in any other, at any other university. Mm -hmm. Like a major school. In fact, there are some of the stuff that's taught here as an actual class is a prerequisite to make some colleges. That's true. If you're, if you're not being able to make it through this, Especially the most basic of basic stuff. I'm talking like 
the prerequisite classes. If you're not able to make it through that stuff, then I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you. Mm hmm. Like, for example, with like paying fees, like even Curtis, like where he's not no, going to school anymore, it's, like it's Curtis like, no, paid his fees and stuff, are, like which is pretty, which yeah, is pretty good, was you know. Very easy. <laughs> and like, That's what enough. didn't they? The, the, the did the college pay you back for the first semester, or did you just end up not getting the money back? But you didn't lose it, really. Um, I think college did eventually pay me back. Well, that's pretty useful because like you have people that actually like pay their fees like which is what curtis did and even though he like isn't here anymore like that's still pretty good you know there's people that stay in college for semesters or okay. even years and they don't pay their fees here's the thing that i don't understand you are literally paying for your classes and for your books if you pretty think much. it is okay to go from the to wake up Go to the dining hall, which is our cafeteria. Go back yeah. and then go solve and play video games. You're not gonna make it. Literally, yeah. you're gonna be on active population, and the, you, you it is really easy to stay in ISU. You just need a 2.0 GPA if you're not. In your <laughs> yeah, life. that's true. Um, that's you're not gonna last that far. I get it. Some people are gonna go here for the fraternities and sex and drugs and whatever. Yes, we can talk about yeah. this all day, but um, yep. that's not gonna get you anywhere. You're paying for your classes. All this is going to do is drown you in debt and misery. Pretty much. Like, um... Like if, if you have to stay a couple of years to we'll finish your degree, and if you're trying, that's okay. But you can't just <laughs> stay in, like, I don't know, one grade and sulk about it, and then get really behind your degree and really behind your mm -hmm. case, and complain that everyone's horrible, and that mm -hmm. uh, you blame everybody for your problems. Not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought of something just a second ago when you said that. Like, um, what was it? The only reason I feel like would be justified to miss, like, a class if you're like, oh, I don't want to go, is if it's, like, an early class. Like, I know Nate and I, like, for our math class, we even, like, our play we might do something with, like, is a 9 a.m. or a evening class better? Like, the only reason why, like, people wouldn't want to go to classes is because they're so early. And that's understandable. But if you're missing, like, a yeah, 2 o'clock class, like, I know some, I've heard some upperclassmen that are music majors that don't go to their 2 o'clock <laughs> classes. Like, that's, you have they so much time. You get sleep, you, you get so much sleep, you get so much time to eat, and you get so have, much like, time to game. They have the excuses not to go. They have the most lamest excuses not to go to class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hope that's not me okay, later on. I, I don't think that would be me because I I'm pretty determined. Here's the thing about ISU. The thing about ISU that I like about it, you can retake class. Some universities, yeah. big universities with like hard majors. If you flunk a class, you're out. You're done. Mm -hmm. You change majors, you or you're just leaving here. the college. Uh, are you, hmm? Um, I'm, Nate's getting I'm not, Nate's I'm getting wrecked. More, I'm not going to dive into more details about that, specifically because this is not a lot of people. Like the good majority of people at ISU are actually like hard workers. I'm talking about the mm -hmm. minority of people at yeah. ISU. Please just go to class. Like seriously, you showing up and not doing things better than you selfing in your door. And I don't know. I'm not going to mention names, I'm not going to mention the fraternity, but there's some fraternities on campus that I know that market themselves as, oh, we're fun, we're this fraternity, we don't, we don't party, we don't do this, we, um, I can't say the word because it involves music, but, um, they, we do this, but they end up not doing that, and some of the people in that fraternity, like if it's a business fraternity, for example, they end up dropping business, or they end up changing majors because they're so... They're like, oh, this is just a fun business fraternity, which is it? I'm not talking about a oh, business fraternity. A I can't think of one. I'm thinking of a different one, but um, I know Nate and Curtis probably know which one I'm talking about. But they they yeah. end up saying, oh, we're this, and then they end up not being like that, and they end up either drinking or smoking or not liking their professors, and they just end up hating everything, and then they're yeah, basically not, they we're not, fail. We're not, about, we're, not, we're, we're not naming any division we're not making uh -huh. class. and this i, I only thought of business because that was the last uh that was what i was for a semester of music business so i was a sem that was a major i thought of i don't think i don't even we're know if there is that many business fraternities we're not we're not talking about a music we're not talking about a music fraternity. this is this is a, this is an unnamed fraternity which we would like to keep confidential mm-hmm but yeah that's 
that's one of the issues too because that's like the minority of people you know you don't find the majority of people that join that fraternity and then they just drop out or they don't care about their classes but this is the minority and it's really sad because they're like oh i'm gonna join this fraternity i'm gonna get help i'm gonna have so much fun i mean i might do a little bit of social stuff maybe maybe party every now and then and then i'm good and you know they have that little innocent voice and they're they're like a sweet little child when they come into your university and then they're like oh no i'm i've I'm gonna, failed I'm all my classes I'm going to quote one person who told me how an average uh, semester goes for the, the lesser than average college student. And it's like, all right, I'm going to go to all my classes. I'm going to fix my failing cumulative GPA. I'm going to be so smart. I'm going to go to bed on time. By week five, you drop five classes and you're like in misery. <laughs> this is the thing about college. The second semester of college is a chopping block especially if your first year the second semester for so, sure um freshman two aka second semester freshman year that is the chopping block if you can, that is the time where you figure either think it's not for you or you move on or the people who struggle behind because first semester honestly kind of save them it's easy it's your first year you you're still figuring stuff out so the university gives you a little bit of pity mm-hmm Second semester is the real university. If you can't get through that, we call it the chopping block. And so far, we're surviving. My grades are not the best right now, but here's one thing. I'm it also doesn't sure. help that your grades aren't being, your, your assignments aren't being graded there, properly. <laughs> there, was a, there was a test in, uh -huh. in, a, in a class I'm not going to name, which a lot of people did bad. And guess what happened? Half the people dropped that class. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Did you end up staying if, in the class? Look, yeah, I'm still not fine. Nice. You need to fight. Okay? Second of all, midterms are not like midterms in high school. It's just a snapshot. It's not good. Your cumulative GPA is only effective on semesteral uh, endings. Exactly. You still have time. Yeah. Stop giving up after one tiny thing. Stop mm -hmm. being a quitter. Let's lose yeah, your exactly. behavior. That's anyway, made behavior. We kind of run out of time. It's eleven o'clock. Yeah, so it's it's. I was just about. I was waiting till you were done we've talking. We've been recording for thirty-two guys, minutes, so you can you can take us out if you want, yeah. Nate. Since you up introduced yeah. us. Um, anyways, thank you for listening to our rants and which our uh, our comp teacher is definitely gonna listen to. Uh, <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, my name is Nate. Uh, I was joined. This is Ian. Uh, yeah, he, he, Ian he, here. And Hello. Curtis, and Curtis, another member of the group, which, uh, yeah, yeah, we kind of didn't do a lot of talk time, but Curtis is going to be the leader next time. <laughs> yeah, Curtis will get to take us out next time. And, uh, Curtis, if you don't, if you don't be quiet, then you are a sponge. I don't know. I all right, and I, want, I want to do a bit of a, a sneak peek, a bit of a, like a hook to what we can talk about next time. So, Curtis, what do you really want to talk about next time? Give your give the audience a bit of a hook to uh, give them a little bit of give them a little bit of a taste. Um, give them some savory food. Yeah. Curtis, That's you don't so say anything. Order. If you don't say I anything, then talk. oh my goodness, <laughs> dude, I I'm trying to think, bro. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a great idea. Order Geometry Dash. <laughs> geometry Dash, yes. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, thank you for listening. I'm Nate. Uh, Ian, you say your name. I'm Ian. I'm like him. You're no, Curtis. you're not. I'm Curtis. Yay. I'm Curtis. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that was the episode. And uh, we'll see you next time. Sign. Bye -bye. See you all later. <laughs> <laughs>